My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Got another amazing car today that I'm super excited to tell you about. I'm not just making that up. This is a investment grade quality checks all the boxes type car 1969 boss 302 documented here with the original build sheet the letter g is in the vin number that says it's a boss 302 uh, we have judging uh, inspection forms uh, and we have original window sticker that comes with this car numbers match i mean literally the vin number matched motor the Dates, the casting codes are right. Uh, a lot of these bosses, the motors have been blown up because uh, essentially this was a factory race car. These were built uh, to compete in Trans Am racing. Matter of fact, they stole the title from Chevy in 1969 with this car. The Boss 302 is a performance package as the high performance motor and then all the upgrades that go with it. Uh, they were all four speeds, has heavy duty cooling, heavy duty brakes, heavy duty suspension, a blackout hood, front spoiler, bigger wheels, all sorts of stuff, which I'll tell you more about in the video. Uh, you can also go to volocars.com and read some of the story and the specs about this car. And that's where you can also look at 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find the price tags on every collector car we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Some other interesting uh, tidbits of information, they made about 1,600 of these. That's a pretty low number. In 1970, they made just over 7,000. So the 69 Boss 302 is much more scarce. Uh, where did they come up with the name Boss? Uh, the guy that was in charge of creating this car and uh, uh, everyone was asking him at Ford, what are you working on? And it was supposed to be hush hush. And he said, I'm working on something for the Boss. So there became the name, the Boss 302. Um, this was a rotisserie restored concourse quality car. The judging sheets go back to 1999, so it's over 20 years ago. So it isn't like it just rolled out of the shop, but it's really, really nice, and it's a really good car. So the underside uh, was all done properly. Uh, they painted the floors in primer, and then whatever yellow overspray, when they painted the car, got under there. That's how they left the factory. That's how this one looks underneath. The metal is pristine. The spot welds, the uh, frame rails, all the seams, clean, super nice, clean, original uh, metal floors. They're original as far as I can tell. Uh, the exhaust system on the Boss had a new transverse muffler, so it's dual exhaust that goes into a sideways muffler. The tailpipes are tucked up where you don't see them with the turned down tip. The suspension, its time of restoration and steering was all completely rebuilt. Bushings, ball joints, shocks, tie rods, you name it. They're done in the proper finishes and colors. Uh, again, concourse restoration. The fuel system was all restored, replaced at that time. Uh, so was the brake system. Uh, these do have disc in front, drum in back. Uh, the e-brake assembly is hooked up. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean. Uh, it has a correct top loader four speed that's in there. Uh, the rear end is a 350 traction lock uh, or posi if you're a Chevy guy, but uh, Ford called it their traction lock. Uh, the rear springs, the clamps around the springs, I mean all of it was redone and it's still really nice. Uh, this has been owned by collectors in a nice environment. So the car is in really nice shape, uh, even though it was judged uh, 22 or 23 years ago. And the judging score was pretty high from what I recall. Uh, it took out very minor, uh, insignificant uh, issues. The body's amazing. 
And again, the fact that it's painted 22 or 23 years ago and it looks this good really says a lot about the car. It is absolutely straight. The gaps are nice, real nice actually. This is all clean, square, flush, no, no bubbling, no rust bubbles, all clean metal. Now on the bosses, I learned this a long time ago, this fender lip is actually crimped or, or tucked in for the 15 inch wheels that were on the boss only. Uh, so all the bosses, the front wheel wells, the fender lip is folded in uh, for clearance for the tires. Up here, uh, the emblem, the grill, the trim, the bumper, all of that's in mint condition. They all came with the front spoiler. They all came with the blacked out hood because when you're racing, you don't need the glare hitting you in the eyes. All this fits real nice and square and flush. The body is excellent. The paint, for all practical purposes, standing here looks better than new. It's a glass finish. It's original color. They only made these in four colors all together. Uh, but there are some imperfections just from age. There's some little dimples right here, not bubbles, but more uh, like concave dimples. Uh, and I, going around the car is just minor imperfections. I can't even find one now, but, uh, but there are some. The louvers were added, the correct louvers were added. This did come with a rear spoiler. That was an option. It's listed on the invoice. The whole tail panel, gas cap, reverse lights, everything back here is mint, the emblems. The chrome wheels look like they're brand new. 15-inch uh, Magnum wheels with the reproduction Goodyear Polyglass GT tires. Uh, so it's a bigger, uh, taller, wider tire put on the bosses. The side stripe is actually reflective. Uh, you hit that at night with a light, it lights up like, like you turned a switch on. It has the correct sport mirrors. All the trim is straight and nice. Few little freckles on this upright chrome right here. Door handles mint. Windshield's crystal clear. All that's in really nice shape. Correct antenna over there. This uh, bezels right here and here. There's some little pimples on the paint on these two pieces. And this is stuff that you really got to look for. If you're showing your buddy the car, they're not going to see this stuff. It's that minor. So in my opinion, 20-something-year-old body and paint, I think it's stood the test of time and looks uh, amazing. So why don't we open it up? We'll show you inside the car. Okay, before we open the trunk, I did want to point out a paint flaw right here. This is down below the bumper. Obviously, a piece of paint here is ready to flake off. That's a pretty easy fix. That valance could be painted down there without much trouble. Now inside the trunk, really nice, clean, solid metal. It's been painted yellow, has the correct mat, has the collapsible spare, the correct jack, even has a little felt uh, mat here that's correct. So it's a complete trunk compartment in real good shape. Done in the flat black, the jam is painted nicely, weather strip is excellent. Has such nice looking lines on this fastback. 69 Camaro, 69 Mustang fastback. Both gorgeous cars in my opinion. You can see the door panels in really nice shape, uh, the door jams, the weather strips. Everything's just right on the car. Stuff seems to fit right, looks right. There's the door tag over there. Now the dash pad, it's not one of those glue-on plastic caps. It's a real dash pad in mint condition. There's no cracks in the speaker like they all get. Uh, the instrument panel is in really nice shape. Gauges, has a tachometer. Bezels, knobs, the original AM radio, heater controls, cigarette lighter. All that's in really nice shape. It also has an optional clock over on this side. I'm noticing the interior lights work. Kick panels are nice. Has the proper uh, shifter. Has all the seat belts. 
The seat cushions are real nice, has the headrest. The back seat's also in really nice shape. The plastic panels on each side. The lights work. Seat belts are there. Headliner's mint. There's no holes. There's no wrinkles. The visors match. Really nice car. I got this from a collector. He, he only has really nice muscle cars. I would buy a car over the phone from him without even asking questions because everything... I've ever seen him own or ever bought from him has been really impressive cars. Matter of fact, as the values keep going up, I wish I could turn the clock back and buy back every one of the cars I've ever uh, sold of his. Now, this is pretty special in here. This is all authentic. All this stuff counts. One, it's the VIN number matched motor. I checked it myself. Uh, it's been verified. A lot of these were uh, replaced. Um, even when you're buying these cars at auctions or online, the people really don't know for a fact it's original motor. Uh, they don't even know where to look for the numbers. Uh, this has been verified. Uh, they have uh, four bolt mains. Uh, what they did on the Boss 302 is it came out with the 351 Cleveland heads were put on the Windsor block. Uh, it has aluminum intake, a giant 780 carburetor, the numbers on the carburetor are correct. I happened to Google the numbers, just verifying things. I found one for sale, 2,500 bucks just for the carburetor. This whole air cleaner assembly is correct and restored. It has the uh, heat riser tube, the stamps and stickers. And while we're here, look at this. Here's the smog equipment. It's all there. I'd imagine that's a couple grand. Uh, the seams and the spot welds. Uh, the paint markings, uh, everything's duplicated just as it was from the factory. Uh, a reproduction auto light battery, and look, it's bolted down. The right clamps, hoses, shroud. You got the tag, you got uh, washer fluid. And this one, they come with power disc brakes. This one has the optional power steering. It has the rev limiter, which is correct. The chrome valve covers, the wiring all looks good. Uh, so that's what we mean when we say concourse condition. It's like it left the factory. Looks like even the plug wires are dated and correct. So this is the right car. And I'm pretty sure it has a buck tag too. It's Our photographer got a picture of the a tag with the information on it. I don't know where he found that, but uh, it's in our pictures. That just adds to the uh, authentic, uh, authenticity of the car. Yeah, this, this car was a legend when it's new. It has the performance, it has the looks, and it was rare. If you wanted one of these back in 69, you had a hard time finding one. So today, they're extremely sought after, and I don't think there's too many better examples out there than this one. Documented, judged, number match. This is how it was born. They added the louvers. Other than that, this is, this is how the car left the assembly line. I wanted to mention how nice the door shut too, uh, especially that passenger door is just like click. This is amazing. Excellent car. This is collector grade, investment grade, uh, or if you just want a really cool car, this is it. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesman. If you have any questions or concerns, they'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. 
they can help you even get it financed at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.